Hello, my name is Juana Medina and I am the author and illustrator of Juana and Lucas and Juana and Lucas Big Problemas. Today I am here in the good company of the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts inviting you to celebrate the beautiful Andean region. Join us. Bogota is home to over 8 million people. Some say the number is actually closer to 10 million. The city expands over 600 square miles. It's huge. There are buildings, tall and short, tons of construction with exposed brick, juxtaposed with colorful graffiti made by talented street artists. It is a city where colonial architecture melds with modern buildings and vernacular signs. Aside from bike lanes, streets all over town are closed during the weekends for people to bike, walk, and exercise. It's a city with fruit stands galore, where you can enjoy the most delicious fruits, mangoes, passion fruit, guava, papaya, feijoas, you name it. There are also colorful flower stands with fresh flowers bred from the outskirts of the city. The weather is mild and rain is almost a daily occurrence. Bogotanos have gotten used to carrying umbrellas and donning clothes for the early morning freezing rain, bright and sunny middays, and cooler evenings. It's like dealing with spring, late summer, and fall all within one day. To stay warm, people drink coffee, agua de panela, and eat all sorts of delicious soups like changua and ajiaco. Music, like soccer, runs through Colombian veins. We've all been rocked from before birth to the beat of drums and heartfelt accordion tunes. We all dance, whether graciously or not, and are not afraid to sway to music. Even as the country has faced challenging and violent times, a sense of joy has persevered deep within our roots, bringing comfort and, I dare say, ways to ease the pain. Bogotá is surrounded by mountains, protected from strong winds, as if hugged by the magnificent Andes. The sun is bright, and the light is cooler from places far from the equator line. It's something subtle, but every time I've been back to my hometown, I notice it again and again. The Muiscas, the indigenous community that gave the world the legend of El Dorado, have lived in Bacatá, or Bogotá, for possibly thousands of years. They not only have given the city its name, cared for nature, and created some of the most extraordinary figurines and sculptures made out of gold, but they have shared their riveting understanding of the world and hemmed together, like their beautiful textiles, chipcha words into Spanish, to the point where most can't even recognize which thread belongs to what language. Our culture is one that loves stories. It's not unusual to see minstrels and storytellers with captive audiences in parks, plazas, and even buses. In a place where there are great social challenges and difficult realities, stories have kept us going, dreaming, working with purpose towards a better future. And that's how I've ended up here. After years and years of listening to stories, I've switched places to share with you my love for this big, small city, nestled in the Andes, tucked away not far from reaching the stars.